congratulations to Ohio State. They played a really well-played game. And um, we just didn't play at a high enough level for long enough of stretches in the game on either end of the floor to, uh, you know, to keep ourselves in a little better striking distance. And uh, you got to give them credit for that. I thought offensively, you know, that was probably as poor as we played here in a long time. Our turnovers in the first half really broke us down in terms of giving them 17 points off turnovers. You know, we had 10 in the first half, and that was kind of a little bit of a deal breaker for us at halftime. And then I thought in the second half, you know, hopefully coming out of halftime, we would be able to regroup. But we weren't able to make a couple plays there in the first four or eight minutes, especially long rebounds and some 50-50 plays that just kept the lead right at the same time. And then once they broke it open, um, you know, I thought our team kind of responded how we normally have. And uh, to their credit, especially the guys that finished the game, uh, to be 55 seconds in a one possession game, you know, I thought showed a lot of heart, which is what this team's had a lot. It's been, a, it's been a, um, some really tough sledding at times. We've also had some good moments. But uh, to finish the game like that was encouraging for the guys that were on the floor. But just weren't good enough at this game, at this level, for what was at stake to, you know, need to just play smarter and sharper. And, you know, at the end of the day, be a little bit better defensively in terms of rebounding. You know, there's some things that we can control that we didn't. Questions for Devante and Juwan. Please raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. Go right here in the middle. Juwan, obviously it's hard to play with, with foul trouble. How, how much does that disrupt your rhythm? Just <clears throat> when you're having to worry about the whistle and you know you're going to be sitting down for a while more than you want to, um, what goes through your mind? Uh, you just got to stay in the game, stay engaged in the game mentally. Um, you know, that's just as important as the uh, physical aspect of it. And you have to be ready to go once you put back in. You can't really just sit there and be like, I should be playing or blame the reps or anything. Um, you have to just be ready to go once you're back out there. Other questions for student athletes? Anybody? All right, fellas, I'll let you go back to the locker room. <laughs> questions for Coach Miller? Back here in the middle. Coach, you talked about once they kind of broke it open, you guys responded. But during that crucial couple minutes, what, what was going on? Were they just making shots and you weren't? Or what did you see happening there? Combination of things. You know, obviously offensively, we weren't scoring or, you know, turn it over. And then I think just our overall toughness on the ball, uh, you know, wasn't good enough. You know, when the screens hit us, you know, in my opinion, we died on a few. And we had to stay a little longer than we needed to in rotation. And I thought they delivered the ball out of the ball screen a few times off of, you know, the corner, the corner pass. Uh, and they made some timely threes. Um, we struggled. You know, we just did. We struggled for whatever reason. We struggled on the ball today. If you look at their guards play, um, you know, if you look at um, C.J. Jackson and you look at Keyshawn Woods, I mean, 35 points between those two guys and nine assists and three turnovers. You know, guards win at this time of year. They got to make plays. They got to make shots because it's difficult. And those guys made some really, really big baskets for them inside out of the post. I thought Woods in particular, he may have scored the last seven points or at least seven in a row in a tough stretch when we couldn't do it. So those guys played well. And, you know, Caleb, let's be all honest with you, if, if Caleb isn't, um, you know, an all-conference player, you know, I don't know what one is. And, you know, he hasn't played in the last three games. That drastically changes your structure or what you're doing. And I thought he did a great job getting back. They did a great job getting them the ball. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a tournament team. And, you know, at the end of the day, they advance and you know, wish them well. Additional questions for Coach? Over here on the aisle. Coach, just talk a little bit about uh, Devontae's play and stepping up when the team really needed some buckets late. He was all we had there for a while. You know, he stepped up and made shots. And that's what it's going to have to be like, you know, in this type of a game. They're going to give some guys some shots. You're going to have to step up and make some easy assist type passes early in possessions where you don't over dribble. They crowded the floor on the dribble all, all game long. And, you know, I thought Devontae uh, here in the last three weeks has really raised his level of play. Um, he was great yesterday in our workout. And he was the one guy, he's playing with really good confidence right now. And he hit some late ones there that were long ones, but. 
you know, without him, I don't think we would have even been close, you know, coming back that last eight minutes. He made some really good plays for us. So he's had a good finish in the last month of the season for us, which is good to see for an older guy. Other questions up here to What do you think this means for, for you guys going forward, especially regarding the NCAA tournament? You know, we'll wait and see. You know, um, it'll be difficult. Uh, our resume at the end of the day, if you put it up there with a blank sketch, I'm sure it compares favorably to some other teams. Uh, we've played a ridiculous schedule and obviously have beaten teams that obviously made the tournament. And I think, you know, the one thing is in this stage when you're comparing everybody, can you beat a team in the tournament? Can you win a game? And this team can win a game in the tournament because it's played good ball here lately. And it's also played good ball early, you know. When you're able to beat a Marquette, a Louisville, you're able to get Michigan, Stwight, Michigan State twice, you're able to to get Wisconsin here lately. Those guys, those, those teams are all highly seeded teams. So are we capable? Yes. Did we do enough? You know, I'm not sure. I know if we are in the tournament, I believe our guys are, are capable of winning a game. But, you know, for me to speculate, it, it's hard. I know this, that our league is the toughest in the country this season. And to play the uh, schedule that we've played and be able to sort of come up, come up a, uh, with our head above water here these last three weeks is a good sign. So. We'll take whatever they give us. You obviously earn what you get. And uh, for us right now, we'll just kind of wait and see. But I think our league in general, though, will be represented well. Have time for one or two more, if there are any. Anybody? Uh, Ohio State, on the other hand. Let's get, hold on. Let's get a mic to you. Uh, Ohio State, I assume you think they are a tournament team at this yes. point. Yes. Yes, they're in the tournament. And uh, I hope they get rewarded with that. You know, their last three games, like I said, are playing without a dominant player. So, you know, uh, that has to go into consideration with, with their resume as well, you know, and they should definitely be in the tournament. So one, 